You've got one hell of a mission ahead, Tony. Only one anxiety attack confident. Pretty sure everything's tuned to perfection. Uh, pretty sure? Sorry, that came out wrong. What I meant to say is, everything's gonna be fine. Thanks for worrying that. Good luck, Tony. Thanks, Nat. really an organization in itself, it's been a catch-all term for smaller groups of people fighting back against what they see as oppression by AIM. But lately the resistance seems more organized, and it begs the question, what exactly are they fighting for? AIM has told us inhumans are contagious, but both humans and inhumans seem to be joining this resistance in striking numbers. Is this a recipe for the conditions that created A-Day, or has the public been misled about the danger presented by Inhumans? Every test I did before ended badly. But with this new miniaturized accelerator, I have a shot. Because it is awesome. $1.4 billion vanity project. I may incinerate on takeoff, but I'll look damn good doing it. All systems are in the green, sir. But I must warn you, a large storm system has moved into your direct flight path. Never rains, but it pours. Well, we can't wait any longer. Tony, I loaded up some music to give you a little boost. Oh, no. Don't worry, it's not mine. You can do this. Thanks, kid. Okay. Three, two, one. Juice left in these repulsors. Hopefully, this place isn't crawling with guards. Okay, let's see what we got. 
Wait a minute. Well, this doesn't make sense. Regenerative formula. That'll explain Tarleton's giant head. That's its source. Probably some unfortunate inhuman. Okay, let's find that door. No sweat. Rescue that inhuman. No more regen formula, no more adaptoids. High fives all around. Covered in space dust, this place does not get a lot of foot traffic. Well, only way is up. Not sure anything will. Most of the power in this place is being diverted to that single room. Crashing through their airlock didn't wake up the room the guard docks. Maybe they're here to keep something in, not out. Bingo. That's not ominous at all. Steve. Steve? Holy shit, you're alive. Tony. What are you... What is all this stuff? Where am I? No. Yes. Tony? Are you hugging me? What? No, I just didn't want you to fall. Then why aren't you letting go? We thought, I mean, I thought that... It's good to have you back, Captain. I'm so come confused. On. Yeah, come on. Gotta get you out of here. Come on. Wait, 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 wait. Tarleton. Did he survive? Tarleton? Who cares, what? The explosion, he was too close. He survived. Thanks to you, apparently. And Monica, if you believe the news stories. That doesn't make sense. Okay, I got you. The evacuation. 
All those people? Yeah, we'll get to that. You think you can walk? Yeah, it's okay. I'm good. Let's do this. Well, there's the cap I remember. Come on. Okay. What's the plan? Uh, well, we find an escape pod and, uh, escape. You're winging this, aren't you? Yes. Yes, I am. Actually, didn't think I'd make it this far. <sighs> Tony, where is everyone? Where's here? Oh, well, we're in space. My God. You weren't kidding. Uh, nope. Can do this, Cap. It's down from here. You ready to jump? Tony, what's what's happening? Well, it's a long story. How long? Was it? Ah, well, five weeks, which, by your standards, is just a power. I'm starting to think people just prefer me on ice. See, you're already making jokes. Corny, ones, but that's normal for you. just yet. Monica! Long time no see. Can't imagine your buddy Tarleton was too thrilled about using superhero blood to replace superheroes. He leaves the details to me. Stop what you're doing. Now. Wait a minute. Georgie doesn't know about any of this. And he never will. Self-destruct sequence initiated. Uh-oh. I think we made her mad. Tony! I'm working on it! All right, got it. Let's go. What the hell? Oh, don't mind the killer robots. <laughs> Hurry, get it open. I'm trying. For a dead guy, you're really pushing. I'm gonna have to brute force this thing. Why didn't you start with that? Help me up. Grab the other side. There, Captain. 
Well, good news is we're not gonna die in a fiery ball of death. And the bad news? We'll uh, most likely suffocate first. Well, at least it's a good view. That it is. Damn it. So close. Well, since we're gonna die anyway, you have any, I don't know, last confessions? Your jokes. I just don't get them. I know, I read your diary. Why'd you smash the reactor cap? A lot of people died. Tony, there was something buried deep beneath the bay. Somehow linked to the reactor, working its way to the surface every minute. It's the earthquake. I had to do something. The entire San Andreas fault was about to blow. The ocean would have consumed the city. Millions would have died. Never doubted you for a second. Just had to hear it, you know? The hell is that? Well, look who it is. Am I always going to save the day? I'd expect nothing less from the God of Thunder. Hi, Thor. Welcome back, Captain. This was your regenerative formula. George? How long have I been your lab rat? I knew you'd react like this. You'd rather die than need something from them. I trusted you. You saved your life. You could control machines with your mind. Just think of you all the You infected me with his blood. It could have killed me. But it didn't. Remember the dream, George. How could you make me one of them? I made you strong. You stole my hope. And now... I am going to give you the same odds that I had. <laughs> I will rid the Earth of superpowers. Even if it has to end with me. George! They had you. This isn't on you. Tarleton didn't even know Monica had me. What? A-Day. The heist. Monica hired Taskmaster to steal a Terrigen crystal. His men triggered the security protocols, initiating the Chimera's autopilot. But, <sighs> but that thing in the bay, that was unexpected. The heat signal. It must have been what caused the earthquake that took down the city. What was that? I don't know. Nat, I'd... I just keep thinking... If I hadn't... 
all those people. No. This is not your fault. That ship was never supposed to be in the air. I would have done the same thing. You're alive. I knew it. I'm sorry. Um, come on. You should really see this. Welcome back, Captain Rogers. I know I speak for everyone when I say that you are a sight for sore eyes. Thanks, Jarvis. It's good to be back. Since the Chimera's near crash into Manhattan, the situation has become dire. I fear AIM will use this as an opportunity to ramp up their persecution of all the Inhumans. We can't let that happen. The world needs the Avengers now more than ever. We are preparing for our final conference the Avengers for this anticipated confrontation, and we'll need some special materials to complete them. Thanks, Jarvis. Time for us to get back in fighting form. Let's see what we need. Excellent, sir. As part of the effort, we might want to help our allies. Commander Hill and Dr. Pym are both reporting serious difficulty in coordinating our efforts due to AIM's draconian control over world communication networks. How can we help? They have requested we destroy AIM's main communication hub to help unite the Resistance efforts. Let's oblige them, old friend. Speaking of the media, reports of our own Thor Odinson working with ex-AIM scientists in a remote part of Scandinavia have started cropping up on the news. This may be part of AIM's propaganda campaign against the Avengers, but it bears investigation. Agreed. Let's get Thor on this ASAP. <laughs> 